The National Forest Monitoring Team in the FAO Forestry Department supports many countries, over 25 countries, to strengthen national capacities for forest monitoring. Uh, we, we, uh, we have developed a suite of open source tools to help countries in their land monitoring needs. They, there are different tools that include Collector, which is a photo interpretation tool, one of the tools that was uh, used in the tree cover potential study. Uh, we also have a tool and a platform actually for earth observation data access called CEPOL. It's a cloud computing platform which provides countries uh, access to supercomputers to process huge data sets for forest monitoring. Yeah, so we have this really exciting collaboration between our team and the Cropper Lab. And uh, we have this collaboration because we want to bring cutting edge science to countries. So through this collaboration, we'd like to create um, tools and, and help facilitate countries to uh, better monitor their forests, to improve decision making, to identify where there are forest restoration opportunities, and for them to integrate their expertise into those knowledge products. So right now we have a global map, which is, it, it gives us a lot of information, but we need local expertise, we need country experts, um, and we need governments to be involved in that uh, decision making process. Uh, right now we have a, a, a project uh, in the forestry department at FAO that's funded by the Japanese government and through this project we are looking to map global mitigation opportunities and have a few pilot countries where we can um, assess restoration opportunities. So we're looking at bringing the tree cover potential map and working with uh, stakeholders and countries and incorporating local data and local, local expertise to make use of, of that map on, at national scales and perhaps even at project scales. That's right.